If this is the only key to your Toyota or Lexus, dealership can get you a new one, but the cost usually stings. Several hundred dollars for a spare. But here is the thing: with modern smart key systems, you usually have more options than just paying dealer prices. You can program additional keys yourself with tools like Autel KM100. Or if you have got an advanced OBD2 scanner, the kind that DIYers already use for diagnostics, you might be surprised to learn that you can use it to pair a key as well. In today's video, using my 2017 Lexus RX350 as an example, I will show you three different ways to get an additional key. The dealer route, the full DIY route, and a cost-saving hybrid method. Stick around. This can save you lots of money and stress. Key programming can be risky, and so to be safe, you need a solid battery. Some procedure will actually require a battery voltage of 13 and above. Connect the battery charger to make sure that this battery will not fall below 13. Plug in, select standard charging. The voltage, as you can see, is 13.83, which is not bad. We'll leave it here and proceed with key programming in the car. Connect the KM100 Bluetooth interface, VCI. Again, we are going to read both keys. This is my original key and Hotel's universal key designed for this Toyota Lexus. And just to make sure that they indeed have the correct chip type. Read it. ID 8A, original key. And then this is the hotel universal key. Read it. It's the same ID 8A, the chip type. And it's blank. That means it's programmable for Toyota. Now that we know it has the correct chip type to act like a Toyota key or Lexus key, but currently, this remains the potential. It doesn't have the capability yet. And that's what we're going to do next, which is to generate the universal key for this Lexus. It has a potential. We need to program it to realize this potential to be an actual Lexus key. So let's do it. Let's go to universal key. And now we need to find our make and model. This is a Lexus. It's an RX350 and it's 2017. So these are the years supported. So we have selected Lexus RX350 2017 model. And this is the only procedure we should follow. We are about to start the procedure to program this blank key. Select generate universal key. Make sure that you read the instruction before proceeding. To program the key, you do need to put the key in the slot. We already confirmed it's a correct key type, and then we're going to readjust and, and continue. And place this in a slot. Make sure it's stable. So I'm going to press Generate Universal Key. And voila! Universal Key Generation is completed. Do you want to continue this generation? Just hit Complete it. Because if you continue, it's going to take another key to generate. We do not want to generate another key. So let's hit complete. So we're done with the programming. Let's exit. Let's read the key again. Reading. And still the same chip type. It has a different transponder ID. Still blank, so we can learn it because it has yet to be learned on this Toyota Lexus. The programming has done its job. So this is officially a Lexus, a Toyota key. But that doesn't mean this Lexus will trust it. We still need to register this key or pair this key for the vehicle to allow this to have controls. Let's go to the Emo or Immobilizer function. 
like this. See if we can do automatic selection. Turn on ignition. The ignition is on, so the car is powered on, but without the engine running. Read. Hit OK. OK. Let's first do an emo data scan, and we may be able to save data just to back up data just in case. It shows there are three keys. Now, I'm going to add key. So we're going to start the process and follow instructions on the screen. Hit start. Each step must be completed within the specified time. OK, it's performing. The positions for learning include four. Hit OK. Put a learn smart key. OK, that means our OEM key succeeded okay and then put a smart key to be learned close to the stop button this is the new key to be learned learning succeeded wow let's give it a try it okay does this really work i'm going to put this original key aside okay so that we don't confuse it Put this outside. Okay, I have already moved the original Lexus key out and I only keep this key inside. So this does lock the car. Unlock. It does unlock. Okay, when I move this closer, looks like it's recognizing it. And it starts the car. I do have to test the buttons a few more times and put this really close to the start-stop button. This key is a Lexus key. It's a Lexus key for my vehicle. It can lock, unlock, and most important, it can start the vehicle. Wow, this is unbelievable. Okay, so in this step, I would like to show you a more realistic and cost-efficient approach. I'm going to call this a hybrid approach because you're going to get a Lexus key. And this is not from Lexus. There's a reason why this can be much cheaper. This is from a different model, but with the same chip type, compatible with this one, and has been unlocked by a locksmith. And they do not need your car in order to unlock it. That's why they can do it remote, right? So you can get this key from like eBay, and I got it for less than $30. The key itself can be inexpensive. This is the benefit of this approach. And so you've got an unlock key from eBay for 30. Now, but how can you make this key to work with the Lexus? It does require a tool, but not the special tool like KM100 or more advanced key programming tools. You can use one of these. I happen to have these three and I really love these tools in my garage. And they have the unique capabilities. But one thing in common that they all have key programming capabilities and last time I checked, they all have the key programming for Toyota Lexus. Let me introduce them. This is X27, my favorite tool, my go-to tool in the garage for years. And then this is King Bolin's K6 Pro. Excellent tool. The third option that I got recently, this is Mucar A92BT. And BT stands for Bluetooth because it uses the latest Bluetooth technology. So this has the additional benefit of mobility. All these have the programming capabilities for Toyota and Lexus. And I have confirmed that new car has that for my 2017 Lexus RX350. So let's proceed. Plug in the Bluetooth OBD adapter. It's connected and let's turn on ignition. Ignition on, engine not running. We're going to do this pairing or registration of the new key. And just not to confuse, the original key with a new one. I put the original key back in the case. And this is the new key. This is the unlock key. And if I press the button, it has battery inside, but the car doesn't respond to the button. No doubt this key works, but this doesn't. So let's go to, I need to take a different route. I believe it's under maintenance. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to key programming emo. 
hit OK, OK, and let's find Lexis. Lexis, OK. We found the VIN number. So it has immobilizer, keys programming, remote control, manual setting. Let's try keys programming. Entry smart key programming. This is the one that we need to use. And let's see. I believe it's type 4 with H. Add smart key. Yeah, I think this looks like it. Add smart key. Let's get both keys ready. The OEM key and the original key that is working and then the new key. Okay, so there's still three to be matched. On the stop button. Yeah, this looks right. And then I'm going to put this to be matched. Yeah. Successfully matched. Wow. It okay. And now let's give it a try. And again, I'm going to move this away, move this out of the car. Close the door. We have this new key, previously an unlock key for Lexus, but we have just registered it to the car. Let me just shut it off and I'm going to try the key first. It locks and unlocks. Let's try the most important step, which is to start the car. Your foot on brake and starts the car. Wow, this is amazing. It's not a special tool for key programming, it's just a scan tool. This is an OBD2 scan tool, MuCar 892BT. With this tool, you can pair an unlocked OEM Lexus key to the vehicle, to my vehicle here. You don't need a special key programming tool. This is more like key registration, pairing or matching, and it works. So if you have this tool, or if you are considering purchasing it for your full system diagnosis, and you want to do key programming or pairing, by the way, this is a great choice. Or if your friend has one, right? Or you can borrow one somewhere. The cost is really just like $30 and unlock key from eBay. And so this will save you hundreds of bucks from the dealership cost. And I showed you that it works on this Lexus. Now I can lock, unlock. With this key, unlock OEM key, now locked to my vehicle. And this is my Lexus key too. This is from an hotel blank. All right, what did we learn? Three ways to get a spare key for a modern Lexus or Toyota like this RX350. Option one, go to the dealer. You can walk in with your VIN and walk out with a brand new OEM key. Register to your car ready to serve you. It's the easiest option, but it's also the most expensive. You pay hundreds to get the key, including the key, the cutting, and programming. The second option is full DIY with KM100, key programming tool. Now, depending on where you are, your local locksmith may charge you less than the dealership does to program a key in this way. And if you buy the KM100 tool, which is around $450 or $500 investment, this only makes sense if you want to program multiple keys on multiple vehicles. But remember, this is a special tool for key programming. It does not do car diagnosis that you usually will need in a DIY garage. And so this is only for key programming. So think about whether you want to invest in this tool or not. This is the second route. It's an overkill for just one key only. The third approach, which is what I highly recommend, what I refer to as the hybrid approach. I call it hybrid because it's a combination of an OEM key. And this is an unlock key I purchased from eBay for less than $30, right? You can easily get one from eBay for your vehicle on a Toyota or Lexus. 
So the key cost is low, but then you need a tool like this. You do not need this KM100 special tool. But if you have access to a tool like this, this is Mucar 892BT, X27, King Bolan K6 Pro also have that key programming capability on the Toyota Lexus. On this Mucar Advanced Scanner, we take a unlock OEM key, and then we pair it using Mucar 892BT, and it only takes a couple of minutes for you to do that. So if you are considering a purchase for an advanced bidirectional full system diagnosis tool like this, and now you can also do key programming, this can be a great option. These tools, KM100 and Mucar 892BT, they are about the same price range, but for DIYer working on automotive projects, it does more than key programming. And that's why I highly recommend this tool. This is a full diagnostic tool for four to five hundred dollars with key matching as a bonus. Now, some final warnings and tips. If you have all keys lost, these methods, OBD methods, will not work. You may need dealership or high-level EMO tools. Always confirm chip type, FCC ID, and frequency before buying. Make sure the keys are compatible to your vehicle. And don't do this on a weak battery. It's better to keep it charged during this process. Some tools and some procedures may require battery voltage above 13. If it's below, you may still proceed, but take your own risk, because if you lose something during the process, you may not be able to recover it, so always be safe in this process. All right, these are three different options that you have to get a spare key on your Toyota or Lexus. If you found this video helpful and informative, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to Professor's Garage. If a professor can do it, you can do it. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and give you peace. Ping an.